I'm now joined by the Executive Director of the UN Global Compact for Nigeria. Naomi, you have just signed a deal with the Nigerian State Oil Company. Tell me about that. Yeah, we just signed a deal like welcoming the, the NNPC into the United Nations Global Compact um, membership as a participant of the Global Compact. It means a, a lot to us. As a stain oil, oil and gas company, we want them to align their operations with the 10 principles of the UN Global Compact in the areas of human rights, in the areas of labor rights, taking actions on good governance, um, ending, anti -corrup anti um, ending corruption, and also environmental stewardship. So we are very excited about this journey to really help them advance their sustainability journey in Nigeria. And how does that work in practice? So do you have milestones where you're checking in on these companies? Are you checking that they are like employing women, that their practice is sustainable? How does it work? Okay, yeah, so the UN Global Compact have a pool of resources where we help businesses to understand what sustainability means and take actions in, 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 in achieving the sustainable development goals. So at the Global Compact, we, we have um, policies and, um, um, and programs like helping to um, target gender equality, mm -hmm. taking actions on education, on climate, um, even the, the um, helping them understand what human rights mean in their business and making sure they're not complicit in, the, in human rights abuses. So having the, we have what we call the annual communication on progress, where members of the UN Global Compact report annually on what they have done, and that is how we get to see what, how, how they're taking actions and then reporting it. So um, Accenture, UN Global Compact just released a report on um, what CEOs think sustainability means to them and how they're going to take action. So this, we know that it's no longer business as usual. The CEOs are committing, and it's not just a, a mere conversation or greenwashing and all of that. <laughs> We're really seeing that they're taking actions. And through the work of the local network in country level, we design these programs. We make sure that their businesses, their employees are also part of the programs that we initiate. So this is how we see that sustainability is not just for one section or department of a company, but it's ingrained all through their value chain. And this is huge because this is a Nigerian state oil company. So if you've got that big fish, then obviously other industries are likely to follow suit not just in Nigeria, but across the continent, Exactly, right? yeah, that, that is why we, we find today's signing very, very um, remarkable, and it's, it's going to send a strong signal, not just to Nigeria, but to the African continent, even those in the energy sector, to show, to, to show that they have to join this movement. It's, it's a movement of sustainable companies. They have to join this movement to take actions on sustainability principles, embedding it in their operations, and also setting concrete targets for the sustainable development goals. As you may know, we the world understands that government cannot just achieve the SDGs alone. Mm -hmm. The private sector plays a crucial role. And when businesses set concrete targets on the SDGs and take actions to realize it, then we'll be on the right path towards achieving the SDGs. And you know, we are mid-year, midway into the, the SDGs. Yes. We have seven yes. years to go. So we need companies like the NNPC to take these concrete steps, sign up to our goals, and we just launched forward faster at the private sector forum. And we're calling on businesses to publicly um, set their targets, commit to it, and report. So having gender equality, climate issues in forward faster is a, is a big deal, and we, we, we look forward to having more companies join this initiative. Absolutely. And you know, one of the themes of this conference is energy and the energy transition. So what do investors need to know about the promise and potential of energy on the African continent. Yeah, just like um, NNPC sending that signal now, they know we are ready. Uh, our president has said it. We are ready. We are ready to go into this journey. But I mean, it's not. It's, it's baby steps. We know, but having awareness that we need to move into just to, into, into clean energy is a first step, and then taking or the, the knowledge, the community education and awareness, and also implement, implementation will take us a long way. And how important are conferences like this Gabby conference for achieving the initiatives that you uh, have just laid out? Well, yeah, it is very important. I mean, Gabi is under the platform of the United Nations Global Compact, even though it's an initiative of the Deputy Secretary General. Last year, we had Gabi with different themes. So like, as you see, it's Global Africa Business Initiative. We are positioning Africa in the center stage. We are taking the position that we deserve, and we are celebrating the rich resources that we have, the companies we have in the, in the, in the continent. It's an opportunity to network, also to pledge commitments and take actions. So we don't want to come back next year to say, okay, it's another conversation. We want to celebrate what we have done so far. So you, you go through the plenary, you see the numbers of companies who are coming. We have those from sports, from trade and investment, from gender. It's a whole lot going on, but companies are really coming to share what they have done right? And then also calling others to join the initiative. So what do you want to see from the Gabby conference next year? 
yeah from for for gabby okay following up from here for, from this gabby i want to see more opportunities for collaboration so when we take it back home we have 11 local networks in 10 local networks in africa we want to have opportunities to collaborate with the companies here develop programs take it back home implement it and when we come to gabby next year we're celebrating what we have done so far i look forward to celebrating with you my absolute pleasure we look forward to that too thank you thank you you're welcome